What's going on, everyone, everywhere? Never fear, Logan Jay's here, back with another sneaker review. Today, I bring you a pickup that I thought about copping for about a decade or so. Colorway was like limited to like Amsterdam and whatnot, and then I just lost interest on that one. And then they did a little push for other colorways, but I wasn't as interested in those. I was more focused on other ones and I already had gotten the other pairs such as the M110 by Ronnie he did like 500 of the red and sale pair and the city wings which released in 2013 and I got the basically the Chicago slash spud web and the bread black and red high city wings never done reviews on either pairs of the city wings of the m110 and today we have the m100 and you know so there was a pair that i went back and started looking for other colorways that they had recently released in the past decade and it was all black and white leather upper that's more of like uh, colorway that i would have picked from the ones that they actually released and there was a rivalry high as well that i'm looking out for adidas to bring back that's like the staple all black white stripes and white outsole a little bit of a black midsole paint job that's a pair that i'm looking forward to and so that's the colorway that they basically released i look up for the picture so i can show you and compare both of them the adidas and the m100 and so I want to show you the box and Pony has celebrated a 50 year anniversary as they came out in 1972 and Pony stands for product of New York and you got your chevron check here I like this box it's like all matted out and then a nice glossy chevron check then you got in blue here see says when sports are more than just a game and that is on the sneaker as well nothing there and it's got the pull out draw style box and you have the m100 see you got white silver and that's it and i like the little picture and whatnot to let you know what's in here and whatnot so that's cool and so it pulls oh. out like that black tissue paper just double Tissue paper is double wrapped in here. It's got more white tissue paper in there. I'll take this out and let you see the inside of the box. So it's red and blue and white. A little pony branding going on right there. And it actually says product of New York right there. It lets you know pony. So yeah, that's the box. And here they are. Woo! Finally got them in a nice clean colorway. It's going to be a real simple review as it's only like white and gray. And, um, starting off with your outsole, you got your gray, I'll call it silver outsole, which is gray. You got your pony branding there. I like the feel of the rubber outsole here. You got your sail midsole pony branding there sail stitching on the heel you got your full micro pillow heel technology letting you know then it's got non marking soles i like these little lines here a little nice design towards the midsole the real techie back in the 80 these came out in 88 and you have a little heel counter here a little gray plastic heel counter little ventilation as well right there keep it a little bit breathable for you and it is full cream they, they're calling a premium full grain leather upper the retail on these was 130 i ended up getting them for 156 shipped they charged me nine dollars tax about like ten dollars tax or whatever nine and change i'll call it ten and like fifteen dollars shipping and 
yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah, 15 ship and the taxes or whatever. I don't know. And so yeah, I came up to like 156 or something like that. Yeah, total. I think you could wait on these as really nobody's trying to get these. These have three colorways of the M100. They got a anniversary pair, 50 year anniversary. That one's retailing. I think it was 240. So it's all white, tumbled leather uh, compared to this one has a smooth leather and the gold is uh, nice and bright. It comes in a briefcase box. So you're paying more for that little premium touches. The outsole is gum and you have another one that's all white and brown. So they're keeping it really clean with the colorways that they're dropping now. They're trying to, you know, get another push again in the market. And so, yeah, you can't go wrong with all white and whatever color you put on there, you know, that's wearable, you know, white and green, gray, blue, they use brown, they got an all white and red low and an all white and gray low, which is basically this one. So they got a, a same in the low form of this one, which I thought of copying as well, but I said, you know what, I'm good. I'm just going to get the, the high and yeah, really impressed with these, really feeling them. And so you got some stitching going on on your vamp area, some perforations. This gives me a little bit of a vibe of the Air Jordan 12 as that went all the way up to the front, but still the the sideways stitching going on there. Got your mud guard here, and then you got a little hit wrapping around in leather, and it's folded over in this gray, you know, little extra detail that is on the tongue as well. They added that touch. Would have liked to see it somewhere back here, but they didn't do it. You know, just to help balance it. It's just on the tongue. You don't really see it anywhere else. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, maybe on this here. So you got your Chevron check here in that gray. You got pony in gray here. You got the gray eye stays there. And you got the eyelids here in metal here at the bottom and at the top as well. White laces. You got your tag there, pony. White leather, gray lettering. And in the back, when sports are more than just a game. So, yeah. You got a lot of perforations going throughout the sneaker right there. All the way up to the heel collar. I like this little embossed design here. As well as on the heel collar the medial doesn't have the pony branding there this reminds me of the air jordan 3 right here sock liner wish it was gray it's a white sock liner it is ventilated nicely it is padded very very nicely is thick comes with this shoe tree here not your regular tissue paper they and then they added tissue paper around the shoe tree so your insole is gray and you got your pony and white there and your chevron check underneath there it does come with a little tag here it's a nice little touch And you can see the inside, it is metal there. And these were made in April or March of 2023. I don't know if you, there it is. See that. So, yeah, made in China. So, they got here this week. Was it today is Wednesday, May 3rd? And I got these May 1st. I actually just got information from UPS that they were being delivered. And then next thing I know, they're being delivered within like an hour or so. As I was working nights and I woke up and I saw that and they were here within half an hour. So I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it was like. And then today, I 
is it today or last night they they sent me an email pony saying they're on their way so their system is a little delayed i was like wow they got here within a week from being ordered and they just didn't notify me uh, as smoothly as you know they should have and but yeah uh very happy with these leather feels very nice and thick so yeah finally got to add a pony once again to the collection and the m110 you know finally it's been over 10 years that i've been eyeing this silhouette you know in a colorway that i really wanted and this is very wearable i've been buying lately all white and gray sneakers so that fits you know as it is very wearable cannot go wrong and if you want the low top I don't know if that one was like 110. I might have been like 110. I don't remember the price right now, but uh, yeah, they're, they're not too much, but they're not like under a hundred dollars or anything like that, or just at a hundred. You know, they're they're reasonably priced. You know, they know their pricing is probably under a hundred, but you know, some people are gonna pay retail like I did that want something different, and this is it. You know. And I don't think they're making that many, so I wouldn't, if you're interested in these, I wouldn't wait too long as the sizes will sell out as this is a, the best colorway they've got right now. I don't know. This is my opinion. That's why I copped it. So, yeah, you two. Get you an up-close look. One more time. And what would I rate these? These are an easy seven. Yeah, seven. Nothing too crazy, you know. The, the, the tumbled leather pair, the old white one, that one's looking really nice. I like that look. So they would add it to this. Been a little bit higher. And that gray sock liner. And also, as I'm used to with Amy Lee Andor, they could do like an off-white leather upper here because this is all white and you know sell midsole just use those colorways but that's i guess more for somebody that comes in and can do a collab and whatnot but that's what i would have done as you use the sell midsole these look very close to the 550 or 650 actually the 650 because it's a little higher and I did bring out the Air Jordan 1 just to, for height comparisons and just like how clean they are. And can I go wrong? Mm -hmm. Here they are. So they know. Your retro 80 sneaker. So 85 and an 88. Just a little bit more beefed up, bulkier sneaker. you have it youtube hope you enjoyed this review it's your boy logan j and i'm signing out peace